Duh. I don't care what you say. For me, it's the CC. You know what I'm saying? It's the CC to me. <laughs> Not like, oh, I sprayed this plus this plus that. That's annoying to me. I want to keep it because the bottle is cute. You know? So we'll see. Then I got the Lelith. Lelith. <laughs> La creme. Main. <laughs> Let's give it a whiff. Give it a whiff. It's not giving me a fragrance. Is this supposed to have a scent? <laughs> The light is shining in here, honey. We have a Chanel haul today and I am excited. So, I mean, it goes without saying, your girl loves the good luck. you know what I'm saying? And I have definitely been diving into more and more luxury because hello, it takes money to buy this stuff. So, duh, thank God I live more comfortably now and can afford these things. We're gonna talk about my Chanel haul in this video. If you're not already subscribed, do so. And also comment below and let me know how long you've been following me because I'm just curious. Also, I've got several giveaway boxes that I wanna get rid of this year. Year and I want to put in your hands because why not? I unfortunately cannot send the giveaway boxes overseas. I tried to one time and it was literally a hundred dollars to send it. Like, yo, this stuff is stuff that I get either for free or I purchase and no longer need. So a hundred dollars to send boxes is a lot of money. And already I'm the one that spends the money sending these out. I don't ask you for any money, FYI. So I am sorry that I cannot send these internationally. But if you are here in the US, I will certainly be choosing you all randomly for the giveaway. So maybe Make sure you comment below anything regarding this video and you just might win. Now, mind you, I did get some gifts for my mom, which are not gonna be part of this haul. I'm gonna wrap them for her for her gift. It was a Chanel number no. five body cream, a Chanel number no. five deodorant, and oh, the gift sets. So I'll link those below. The gift sets keep on coming and selling out. Love them. $97 for the cream. And I'll, I'll show you the one, the cream that I have and then the lip balm. I wanted to call it a chapstick, honey. I call everything a chapstick, okay? But it's the Chanel lip balm, hello? Okay. Okay, so I got that for her. That's not a part of this, but that was a part of my haul. The first thing that I wanted to show you are these fragrances. So I added two new fragrances to my collection. These are the Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. I love the way the bottle looks, first of all, just sexy, sophisticated, and I have two of these. One is the purse travel, you know, the travel one. And then we have the actual full size. This is the 3.4 fluid ounces. Just love this. It's so sexy. There is an intense one, but this is the Eau de Parfum. It's a warm floral and it's got orange patchouli and Turkish rose in it. I love all of those. Okay. I have used this a few times. So this is not the first time that I'm selling it, but let's talk about it. And I'm not wearing a fragrance right now. So I may want to put this on. Yes. First of all, this was a blind buy. Let's just put that out there. Right number one. This is a blind buy. I got this because of Erin Nicole here on YouTube and she's also in this horror squad and she mentioned it in a, a roundup and I was like, hmm, Coco Mademoiselle. That sounds like something I might like. I like Chanel number no. five, but it's not for me. It gives is very, very, very mature. You know, I'm mature, obvi, okay? However, Chanel number no. five is just too mature for me. But this is mature and sexy, but it works and I like it. It's giving me Lancome La Vie et Belle only in the way that it makes me feel. When I say that it's mature, that's what I mean. So it doesn't smell like Lancome La Vie et Belle, Soleil Cristal to be, to be specific. When I smell it, it gives me high class, rich, luxe, opulence. That's what I mean by that. So this is very sexy opulent, rich, high class. That's totally the vibe. And I love this. I love it. I love a good Turkish rose. And I love that I have the one that can go inside my purse. And the three pack that I got was this plus two refills to refill this. So it's just so cute. Yo, I don't care what you say. For me, it's the CC. You know what I'm saying? It's the CC to me. <laughs> and then another fragrance that I picked up because of I feel like it was Erin. Yeah. I just, you know, people describe stuff and then you're like, oh, let me try that. So I picked up the Coco Noir from Chanel and I did smell this. This came in, what, last week? I did smell this and I'm not over the moon, you know? I knew that it would be a bold scent because it's a black bottle. And to be honest, it's, it's beautiful to look at. It's called Coco Noir. It's a classic floral, okay? It's got jasmine absolute, bourbon vanilla, and rose absolute. Let me spray it again to get a gist of it. I mean, I already bought it. I don't feel like returning it. It. I'm likely gonna keep it. I just need a reminder. So let's smell this again. My mom might like this actually. I mean, I like it. I don't love it because I like more warmth. Perhaps this could have been accented with the vanilla or something, you know? 
I can always layer. I don't layer though. Do you layer? Comment, let me know. I don't like layering. I like to just experience the scent just by itself. I don't like the idea of layering, not to mention when I'm smelling myself through the day, I wanna remember what I have on. Not like, oh, I sprayed this plus, this plus, that. that's annoying to me. Not to mention also when I'm out and about and someone's like, oh, what fragrance do you have on? I feel not, oh, I have this, then I sprayed this, and then I did this. That's just too much, you know? I was actually at Morphine. The lady was like, what do you have on? And in fact, it was Kaoli Coco Utopia Vanilla Vanilla Utopia, whatever that name is. And I knew what it was and I could tell her, right? Imagine me layering and be all confused. I want to tell you what it is, right? I like this. It's not giving me the deep, woody, oody scent that I would have imagined because of the bottle. Like I'm not in love. I like it. If you love classic florals, just straight up floral, this is perfect. They all give me older, sexy opulence. They all give me that, right? This one, since it's a classic floral, it more so gives me that. So now I wanna, I didn't actually give this to my mom or I can gift it for Christmas. <laughs> I'll think about it. I wanna keep it because the bottle is cute, you know? So we'll see, I'm so annoying. Then I got the La Livre, La Livre, La Creme, man. So I have one of the gift sets and actually some of the gift sets are, I'm all whispering, are Christmas gifts. So I got one and I showed it on IG. It's just the cutest thing. It comes with a tweed bag from Chanel, like why not, right? And in it comes one of these creams, but it's the white one. I wanted to get the black one, never tried this, never smelled it. And it's got, oh, okay. It's got a little hole in the in the top. So through the top you squeeze and then the cream comes out. I haven't smelled this, so let's give it a whiff. Give it a whiff. This is so, also a cute, gift, honestly, to give someone for a birthday, holiday. It's not giving me a fragrance. Like, it just feels like a lotion. Is this supposed to have a scent? <laughs> I'm not getting any scents from these. Come on now, what were you doing, Chanel? I was just imagining that. You know what I'm saying? Dermatologists tested, but what did they say though? What did the derm say? Nourishing restoring cream with botanical alfalfa concentrate helps preserve the beautiful appearance of hands and nails. Skin looks smooth, replenished and bright. Quick absorbing, rich, silky texture. It is beautiful. It does feel rich and silky. Honestly, if you know me, you know I just love a good fragrance. So I can't lie, I was expecting an ambush of fragrance and that is not what I'm getting from this, but is it rich and moisturizing? Yes. So this is great for someone that does not want their hand lotion to be reeking with fragrance. I do. Am I going to still use this? Yeah. <laughs> I'm still going to enjoy it, but it could have had a fragrance for me. Now, I actually forgot I got this and I'm going to, well, I'm not going to put this on because I already have fragrance on my hands, but this is the Coco Mademoiselle body lotion. Okay. Because I love this scent. I just felt like I was going to love it. Again, this is a blind by. All of this was blind. I didn't want to go in the store. I didn't feel like it. And <laughs> I was going off an errand, honey. Girl, you hooked me up with the, with the Chanel. You knew what it was, okay? So here is the Coco Mademoiselle body lotion. I can smell the fragrance, right? And this is what I'm talking about. Like, I want to smell good all the time. Like, everything needs to smell good at all times. So I look forward to using this sparingly. <laughs> I have a Baccarat Rouge body cream. I used it one time. Oh, it was so good. And I was like, oh, this is rich. So I look forward to seeing how rich you know, this might end up being. Love that for me. Also a cute, great gift if you were to get it for someone's birthday and or for the holiday, okay? We also got a Chanel Natural Finish Loose Powder. This is a translucent one. Love the packaging, just love the whole thing. Honestly, it's the beautiful powder puff for me. Listen, I'm sure that this is gonna be amazing, but it's the experience for me, okay? I'm not gonna lie. Let's keep it 100, okay? It's like, I can make a coffee at home Home with an espresso machine, absolutely it is delicious, right? I'm not gonna, you know, front on that. But then you can go to a nice cafe, a Starbucks, and it's just the experience that makes the coffee different. It's like you can cook food at home or you can go to a State 48 or somewhere real fancy and nice to get the experience. Yeah, the meat might be a different grade, but come on, you know what I'm saying? It's also the ambiance. So for me, with these things, like the lotion and the hand cream and the face powder, it's the experience of it all, right? And I am excited to use this. I'm going to do a video, you know, on the Lux beauty products that I have. Comment and let me know if you want to see that. I want to do one on body care Lux version, and then I want to do one for 
makeup. So comment, let me know if you feeling something like that, okay? And then, listen, I stuck with Coco Mademoiselle because I looked at the notes and I trusted that I would like it. At this point, I can pick out from the notes whether or not I'll like something. It's the real complex niche fragrances that trip me out. Cause I'd be like, wait, what? Okay, y'all get real fancy. I don't know what that is. I need to smell it, you know? Or at least hear someone's anecdotes about what it's like. This is so sexy to me. This is the Coco Mademoiselle body cream. <sighs> Even though it has the stopper on it, this smells so good. It is heavy, okay? This is heavy. The container is heavy. The price to me is worth it. Again, the experience and then the scent of it. I ended up giving my mom one of her Christmas gifts early because I was just so excited. I knew she was gonna love it. It was this in the Chanel number no. five and she loves it. And when she put it on, it smelled, she smelled so good. I was like, mommy, you smell so good. She loves it so much, honey. So now I'm gonna get a, like another one or two because she's just all over it. She's like, I'm gonna put this on my, on my counter so you can look at it. I'm like, yes, honey, look at your CC. It's just beautiful. And I know the scent's gonna be good. So <laughs> I love that for me. And then I also got for myself, I got three of their Rouge Allure Luminous Intense Lip Colors, okay? The first shade is 195. Then we have the Rouge Allure Luminous Intense Lip Color in the shade 209, it's called Alter Ego. And then we have the Rouge Allure Luminous Intense Lip Color in the shade 215 Dileme. So the rationale behind getting these, cause I was thinking about getting bright colors, was really to get nude neutral type colors. And I plan on using 215, that dark rich brown on the outer part of my lip, which you know I love to do. And then on the inside, either 195 or 209. When it came in the mail, I was like, dang, I should've went lighter. Cause you know I like to really lighten the inner part of my lip. But we are gonna see when I do the video, how these look. And you know, I've got lighter colors in a different brand that I could certainly put on top, but golly, I just love to look at it, okay? Again, just, gorgeous also cute gift options for birthday or holiday love the whole thing so that is everything that i got from chanel i hope that you enjoyed this video let me know again if you want to see the beauty tutorial you know me using the products the powder and the lipsticks and, and other i have some valentino as well and also let me know if you want to see the luxe body care routine because i would love to shoot that video for you i'll leave two options for you to watch here and i will see you in the next video bye